official duties. Malines United, they will be setting up like this. 4 4 2 is what is their regular formation. Peter Harrison between the sticks, or Jeannie Frankson will play in centre back today. Daniel Hardy, another start for him. Uh, Romario McFirst in the left back role. Enrique Gordon, a late inclusion in the starting lineup. Wonder if he's carrying a bit of an injury. Shamaria Dennis comes in. Jeremy Nelson, they have a present midfield and versatile player for them. Javon Brown, who could be arguably their player to watch as well. Very versatile player, good midfielder for them. Ronaldo Barrett. Odin Samuels, their big centre back. And Jason Wright, of course, their captain and player to watch, arguably. Yeah, 4 4 2 for my lines, but expect a lot of fluidity, especially across the front two and the wingers as well. A lot of moving parts that we've grown to expect from them, especially under Jermaine Thomas. So that's something for Tivoli Gardens and for us to look out for as well. Great work rating. Daniel Hardy playing on that flank side. Dennis as well, who is usually good off the bench, Dennis. This time he gets a starting place with Tyreek Wilson missing out. That's a bit of a surprise for me, Wilson, who has been a really good attacking midfielder for them. Tivoli Gardens, they'll shape up like this. No doubt that their formation will be 3-4-3. That doesn't change once Jerome Waite is in charge. Nicholas Clark is preferred between the sticks. Both him and Diego Houghton share the duties. Penny Cook, the captain. Richard Brown comes back in the big centre-back. Anthony Nelson. A goal a couple of weeks ago is their Alton Lewis, one of their players of the season. Uh, Nicalia Fuller, Justin Dunn, the league's leading goal scorer. Nathan Thomas, they call him Kante. Lennox Russell, Barrington Price, the big centre back, and Shaquille Jones, who will work in that defensive midfield role. Yeah, no doubt for the 3 4 3, but expect a lot of movement from them as well, a lot of interchanging of positions as the game goes along. But Alton Lewis, as you mentioned, has been fantastic. And Justin Dunn, more in a central attacking midfield role now. Let's see if his late runs can penetrate this Malines team. So, Tyrone Robinson seeing over this fixture. Tivoli Gardens driving forward early into the area into Dunn and he just couldn't miss from there that was his first goal found well by Anthony Nelson who showed good strength to get past Barrett and then Samuels who went in wildly with the challenge and Justin Dunn he kept his composure and that was number 12 on the season for him his first of the afternoon and Tivoli Gardens with the lead after just eight minutes Or should I say after 16 minutes. Two minutes later, Justin Dunn from the penalty spot. And this was after Malines had the better of the play in the first 15 minutes with a couple opportunities. And Tivoli, in the space of two minutes, had a two-goal advantage. Justin Dunn, clinical from the penalty spot. Tivoli would, well, Malines would work hard to get back into it. Tivoli with lacklustre defending. Both teams showing real signs of poor defending in that first half. Tivoli Gibbs on that occasion. Jason Wright slotting it away. It was Daniel Hardy's effort here to just nudge that away from Shaquille Jones. Uh, slot that pass. Slotted that pass. Richard Brown did Jason Wright. It was 2-1 at that point and then it would be 2-all at the start of the second half. Jason Wright putting that beyond Nicholas Clark who went the wrong way. That coming after 54 minutes, and Malines were all square at two apiece. It wouldn't stay that way for long. Steve Clark off the bench. Look at this, a bit fortuitous that he got it back, but very composed with the finish, just to dink it over. Peter Harrison, who was slow off his line as well, Peter Harrison, didn't make his body larger at any point. And Clark said, thank you very much. A 68-minute finish. Clark's third of the season. And Tivoli Gardens had regained the advantage. They would hold it for just four minutes. Look at how Jason Wright allowed that to come across his body. The initial strike saved by Clark from Wright's left-footed effort. But immediately following up off the head to nudge it into the far corner. Got a bit of the upright as well. And helping it in. A hat-trick for Jason Wright at that point. That was after 72 minutes. And Malines had drawn level at 3 all. Tivoli had other ideas. Done with the strike off the chest of Harrison. Then forced the pass. Howard Morris off the crossbar. And Nadine Pennycook in the right place at the right time. Brave finishing. Four on the season for the Tivoli captain and centre-back. 
very close to his hand. Tyrone Robinson said no, the head was enough. Tivoli kept on coming forward. They said four wasn't enough, so they made it five. Rodico Wellington off the bench as a substitute. Combining with the other substitute, Horatio Morgan. Just the second on the season for Radiko Wellington, the 25th in his Premier League career. Tival is number 10, making it 5-3, and they still weren't finished. Penny Cook lobbing that into the area, and Horatio Morgan was brought down. Enrique Gordon, just moments before that, should have probably have conceded a penalty again. And it gave Justin Dunn the opportunity to complete his hat-trick, his second hat-trick of the season, his 14th goal overall. And a big three points for Tivoli Gardens. They run away with this one by six goals to three over Malign. Just look at that. 30 shots between both teams. Nine on target from 20 for Tivoli, seven on target from 10 for Malign. It was a heavily contested game, so there were 20 fouls in it. One yellow card shown by Tyrone Robinson all game. Two corners shared, each, two, two corners each. And four saves made by Nicholas Clark compared to three by Peter Harrison. Majority of the possession for Tivoli Gardens. And they doubled the amount of goals. 6-3 they win this one over Malines. We had two hat-tricks hat -tricks in the game. One for Jason Wright and one for Justin Dunn. And no doubt, Justin Dunn, the league's leading goal scorer, is today's man of the match. Yeah, I'm here with Justin Dunn. Another hat-trick for you this season, more goals. What do you make of your performance, first of all? Um, I think it was a well-played well performance by me. As you see, we start the game very early. I got two goals, and then allow uh, Mullins to get back in the game. We went 2-2, and from there it was a rugged contest, but we came out and get the victory. And I'm sure you're pretty proud of your team as well. It wasn't only you scoring. A lot of your teammates, your substitutes also came on and did really well. It's a really well-rounded team at Tivoli. Yeah, f we in ch from, we, from, from week in training, we were focusing on finishing and we came to the, the, the match and execute very well. As I see, we get six goals. Yeah, it's not easy to get six goals in this league against anybody really. So does that show that Tivoli is the best attacking team in the league, you think? Yes, in training, we build momentum and each game we take it step by the time and the result will come. Well, excellent performance today. Another hat-trick. Golden Boot leader and best of luck for the rest of the season. Thank you. Yeah, that was Justin Dunn. Hat-trick man today. The league's leading scorer. Unfortunately, coach Jeremy and Thomas here with us.